Hello, greetings from Crescent City on September 9th. This is what it looks like when you're at the beach during a fire season in three states, California, Oregon, and Washington. It's literally empty today. It was crystal blue skies on, let's see, Labor Day, but now we're looking at a whole different experience. I tell you, I'm walking towards the ocean. I just couldn't come to the Pacific Ocean without stepping into the water. And I'm about to go right now into the water. Okay, I'm gonna flip around. If you could film those and there's birds. Oh, they all landed on the tree. There was like a lot of birds. I'm talking like hundreds well, of birds. Well, I'm... I'm hi, not going hi, to the birds, hi, I'm going to, to the, the ocean. Going to the ocean where it's nice and cold. Yeah, I'm going to the cold ocean water. and I'm gonna try to get my feet in there, but I'm not showing my feet because this is also COVID-19 and no pedicures. But I do wanna feel the lovely ocean and it's coming. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. It was not as cold as I thought it would it's be. It's not. But it's cold. It's cold. I tell you. Let, let me let you kind of look, Ooh. look, 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 look. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. You can see the ocean now, I mean. Yes. And that's not fog. It's really strange because you can't hear, or not hear, you can't smell the, um. The smell is nice. It smells like the beach. The smell of fire. But it's just taken away everything. You're not going to be able to see a sunset, but it's beautiful. You can see behind me the beautiful ocean. And you can kind of see as I pan around just how beautiful the ocean looks. Yesterday, there were a lot of surfers out at this time. They're gone now. Um, but it's still beautiful. It's still God's creation. Oh, how we love God's creation. Just the beauty. Even when I turn around, I don't know if you can see. There's beautiful mountains out that way and it's really hard to see them because of the smoke. Wow. But we want during this time, from a spiritual perspective, to allow the smoke, the fire, I'm reminded of the coals. Take the coals, cleanse my lips. Oh God, purify us, make us whole. That's what we want, huh. don't we? Yes, we do. In the name uh, of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, we want freedom. And you know what? We're out on this beach and there's really <laughs> nobody. nobody. So that's why you don't see us wearing masks. No need. There's no people. That's right. We own this beach. Our social distance is at least a half a mile. Yeah, or Not more. Bad. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. There's people in our hotel, mm -hmm. but they're all in the hotel. Pretty much people didn't want to wander out too much today. But this is so cool just to enjoy the beach and have it to yourself. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I tell you, you haven't heard from us in a long time. We haven't did any videos, but this time we're celebrating our 11th anniversary and just yeah, yeah, yeah. chilling at the beach in California. What a way to be. And We'll be going home tomorrow. We oh. spent, we've been here since the 4th of September, a day before my birthday and our anniversary. Yes. So it's been a great time of relaxation. Not sleeping in. You know, how much times do I get to do that? I know, rarely. I slept till what, 9 o'clock today? I slept in, I think one day I slept until 10 o'clock. You know, I wake right. up and go back to sleep, wake up, go back to sleep. But that's what vacations are for. Yep. Stress-free. And you know, you need to do that. Yeah, you spend time with the Gotta Lord, but you also need to relax. Our body needs to be healed and we need to not be stressed. And we got to witness. 
one lady came into our hotel and you know it was the first day the smoke was alive and she looks at me and she says aren't you afraid she goes i have so much fear mm. and i told her no have you heard of psalms 91 right. you need to pray that over your family every day yep. and i talked to her about how a thousand can fall at our um, side and 10,000 at the other side and no evil nothing no harm no harm shall come to us come on now and she was like whoa whoa I need to, what was that again Psalms 91 uh -huh. and then I told her God has not given us a spirit of fear but a power love and a sound oh, mind God. I also told her that Jesus when he went to be with the father he said I leave a comforter and I leave this peace to you also this yeah. peace that does not come from this world, but, but comes from the Father. She was like, wow, I need that peace. So that's why we don't walk in fear. Yeah, we're concerned for our loved ones and yes, family we members. We don't want anyone to lose their life or property, but we also know that God is in control. Come on. And that our days are ordered and numbered by Him. That's right. Hallelujah. And we give Him the glory and the honor and the yes. praise for this creation of this Hallelujah. beautiful world. Hallelujah. And yes, 2020 has been something else, hasn't that it? Has something. But one thing it has done is it's caused us to get on our knees and cry out yeah. to the one who created it all. We're crying out to him in prayer and intercession yeah. through praise and worship. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. Through acts of kindness. That's what we're doing. So we yeah. give God the glory now. Hey, I'm going to pass it on to Pastor Andrew because <laughs> I've been talking a lot as we're walking and, you know, getting in a nice um, walk this uh, lovely evening. It's not too bad. No, it ain't bad. You know, it's really, you know, the birds are out here loving it and we're just enjoying ourselves. So let me, let's see if I can pass it I'll seamlessly. Pass the baton. Let's see the baton. Yeah, yeah, Oops, yeah. Did I touch the button? No, it's still going. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're just grateful. That's what we could say. We're so thankful. We appreciate things so much more. You know, even the, the pandemic and then the fires and everything else. But God is so faithful to us. He's faithful to our lives, to our families. Yeah. He blesses us every day with mercy. He's nude every morning. Yeah. We're just grateful, you know. Though the world fall around us, man, God is stable. God is faithful. His word is true. Not one jot, not one tittle shall not be completed. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word will stand forever. And that's what we're living on. We're living on his word, his presence, trusting in the Lord, trusting in the body of Christ, trusting in the kingdom of God. Yeah. And we know that the best is yet, yet to come. To come the That's best. It. The we best have no doubt. We're not looking for doom and gloom. We're looking for his glory, his honor, because he said in, in Ephesians 5, 27, he says that I might present to myself a glorious church, Hallelujah. not a broken down church, not one's very barely surviving, yeah. but a glorious church yes. without blemish, without spot, without yes. wrinkle. Yes. And it'll bring honor and power and glory to him. And we want to be it. a part of that. That's and we it. know we are. And we know that many of you are. We're just so grateful yes, yes. that uh, to be living in these times. Uh, we, Jesus didn't say it'd be easy, but he said, Lo, I'm with you always, yeah. even to the very end of time. So be encouraged today. Yes. Pray for your neighbors. Could give a call to people and say, yes. hey, Check what's in. up? How you doing? Are you all right? You all right? And just pray for them and bless them and be kind one to another and just know that every day is a gift and we're enjoying this gift yes. today. And to the moms and the intercessors out there, hey, this is a time to just begin to intercede for your families, yeah. for your loved ones, um, for those you, you work with, your church mem family members. You know, this is where intercession really That's right. is, is key. Vital. Yes. So pray in the spirit, pray the word, mm. declare God's truths and promises yes. over your family and loved ones. Yes. And you will see powerful things begin to move 
in your family. Yes. So intercessors, join me in just that time of yes, praying diligently for our loved ones. And yeah, we'll get distracted sometimes, but try to push away those distractions and just continue to pray. Because yes. we're going to see God do marvelous things. Marvelous things. Hallelujah. Amen. Peace be still. Have Adios. Have a blessed day. Dios te bendiga.